Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to vlog number three, I believe, uh, from Liquid Chrome Nails. Today is a day off, so we're kind of doing some day off things. I'm going to go do some returns for Amazon. Um, I purchased some extra batteries for my camera and they didn't work out. And I'm going to go to the Dollarama, which I don't do often, but I'm going to go and see what's there that can be used in the salon. I need some labels for some stuff, so I'm going to check that out. So I might do a little haul, assuming that I get some cool stuff. So I'll see you then. Hey everyone, okay, I am back from my errands and I have gone to the dollar store, I returned my Amazon parcel. I'm back home now with Miss Molly Paparina, who actually has her own Instagram if you want to follow Molly Paparina. Anyway, that, that aside, right Molly? Okay, so this is what I got. Now, I did just go to the Dollarama. I tend to spend too much money on like junk, but I went this time because I have some new retail coming in and I want to be able to display it nicely. So I did stop and get a few things and a few things turned into a few more things. So this is what I got. Okay, first and foremost, does anyone remember these? Why? I don't know. Hi, Molly. Okay. Yes. So I got those because it's a dollar store. You gonna eat them? Um, and there's there's um kind of a new little I don't know trend going around. Anyway, it's not new, but I bought acrylic paints a thousand times to do nail art work with. Every time I don't use them, every time I throw them out, every time I buy more. So these are what I got. They were $2. It's all the colors. I really only wanted black and white for right now. There's just a couple of things I want to try. Stay tuned. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on it. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, Himalayan pink salt in a grinder. I'm not sure how many of you are using this. It's from Heavenly Spices. It was like $2.50. So pink salt. Um, thread. Because I was repairing something and had ran out of black thread. Very important. Um, oh. <laughs> See, this is the stuff that I get caught up in. I'm not going to eat this, uh, but my boyfriend certainly is going to. The original SpaghettiOs. Embarrassing, but anyway, um, a couple more canned goods. Oh, a three dollar and fifty cent makeup brush. I needed um, just a kind of a contour brush, and I am not. I mean, hello, a serious makeup person. Anyway, I'm never gonna get into that. But that's what I got. It's actually a powder brush, but. It'll be, it'll be fun. Okay, and I got 40 white paper bags. And I got these little clippies. The idea is the clippies are going to hold on these tags to... They're going to be price tags, I think, for the retail that I'm bringing in new to the salon. I'm getting in um, some locally made, she was about an hour away, bath bombs. And I am so super excited. I've put it out there on my Liquid Chrome Nails Facebook page. Um, I've put it out there on my own personal Facebook page uh, that there's like exciting new retail coming in. I've mentioned to a few people what it's going to be. Not that it's any big secret, but I'm just so super excited for these bath bombs. So, now, I also got this. So it's fairly big. It was $4. And I thought about even filling it with tissue paper and then putting the bath bombs in it. How do you guys struggle, like, do you guys struggle with your retail or how do you, how do you put your retail out there to make it look nice? Um, I also got this. And it's chalk, chalkboard. And that is like a, a teal turquoise color, a really nice seafoam color. And that is the color of the salon, kind of. Um, 
when I film at the salon, when you guys see the background behind me, a lot of times it's not, it's more of this color. I don't know. It doesn't come through on my camera, but someday I will get my lighting figured out and it will. So that is my dollar in a haul. Let's get on to some nails. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to what I believe is the third vlog. I really hope you're enjoying these. And if you are, I would love it if you gave the video a thumbs up. Just take a second. Give me an old thumbs up while you're watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It means a lot to my channel and it means a lot to my channel growth. Um, the more interaction I get, the more likely I am to keep doing these. If I know that you like them, then I will keep them going. So today we're doing some smoke nails. I'm just kind of messing around with them. Um, as you can see, day one when I started this vlog, it was sunshiny and beautiful. And by day two, it was raining and freezing rain and gross. So this was a canceled appointment that I'm doing my own nails on. I had a lot of them. Um, I basically moved the entire day. So I'm just throwing some smoke nails on here. And I'm doing two different versions of them. As you can see in the end, or as you could see in the beginning, um, I posted a, a few pictures before I started with this. So if there's any questions on what I'm using, you can pop them down in the comments box. Pretty much everything I'm using here today is light elegance. This bit is light elegance. The speedy bit that I just used before removing the gel polish was light elegance. Um, the gel polish itself was light elegance. It's a buttercream. The file is light elegance. Guys, everything is light elegance. I do use CND Retention Plus Acrylic. Um, everything else that I use really is, is light elegance. I love their company. I love the butter creams. They're just, I can't say enough good about the butter creams. Um, come towards the end when I start doing the nail art, I'm using the light elegance Selena Ryden brushes, signature series brushes. Um, I've said it a thousand times on my videos, they're expensive, but they're great. If you're on the fence, go ahead and get them. So the last vlog I did a little myth busting on um, as to whether or not acetone is good for us. And for this one, I am going to do the good old, my nails need to breathe. We hear this a lot. We hear it from our clients. I think I'll just take off my enhancements. I need to let my nails breathe for a little while. Um, we hear it in the media. We hear it from uneducated nail technicians. Um, we hear it from everywhere. So I'm just going to give a few facts. You know, when your client says, I think my nails need to breathe, it's easy enough for us to say, okay, yeah, no, they don't. Um, but we don't always have the science to back it up anymore. And I think I said this in, in my first vlog and uh, someone else in the comments had agreed that you know we know the yeses and nos about some of these things but we really don't know the science behind them we did know it we just you know you forget over the years there's a lot of nail art in my brain and sometimes there isn't enough room for science so I've done a little bit of research um, little disclaimer like last time I did not just haul this stuff out of the back of my brain I have done the research um, Nails Magazine um, posted some articles a few years ago that were all written by Doug Shoon. And these today are where I have taken this information from. So again, I'm just going to kind of do it in point form. Um, so number one, no, they do not need to breathe. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to believe that your nails need to breathe. They aren't alive. They do not have lungs nor do they have the ability to absorb air. Um, they don't absorb it into the nail plate. They don't, they don't absorb it anyway, anyhow. They do not require external air supply. They do not inhale and they do not exhale. You know, I feel silly sometimes when I will chuckle and say to people, your nails don't need to breathe, they don't have lungs. Um, and, and sometimes people get a little upset when you say that. I think probably the better way to word that is that no, your nails do not absorb air. Anyhow, moving on to number two. 
100% of the nutrients and the oxygen that the nail needs is coming from the blood supply. It never, ever, ever comes from the outside world. So 100% of the nutrients and the oxygen comes from the blood supply. So in short, everything the nail plate needs to grow and function is delivered and as well removed by the blood to the matrix area. So your blood is looking after 100% of all of this. Um, your nails needing to take a break um, just isn't true. I know I've heard it before. I'm sure as a nail tech you have too that people's nails need to take a break. Assuming that they aren't a picker, I know I've had pickers or people that are seriously hard on their nails that have come back in and said, you know, I think I'm going to take them off my nails. My nails need a break. Um, and it depends on the situation, but sometimes I agree. Uh, if we've, you know, if there's been a lot of damage, if there's been nails ripped off, um, but if everything has been cool and everything has been okay and there's not, you know, any amount of like lifting or breakage or anything like that. There really is no reason why those ever need to come off. I know there are situations, I see them online in some of the nails um, um, forums all the time that they need to come off every once in a while and they, they just don't. Um, another little fact I picked up here from somewhere, um, upon removal if the nail plates aren't any thinner but they do feel like they're flexible. It is just moisture and to give it 24 hours, 12, 24 hours, and that will, the moisture level will come back to where it is supposed to be. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Please comment down below with any questions. Again, a thumbs up and hitting subscribe would mean the world to me. Thanks a whole bunch and have a great nail day.